when they think the outside circumstances make them whatever they are whether it is fear anxiety or putting on weight it is all uh, you are assigning the cause to somebody but you have the power within you which is waiting to glorify you you know mm. if you can tap that power and change your paradigm of beliefs attitudes you know Uh, things will work out better for you because you can't control the environment whereas you can all you can control yourself that is yeah. much easier yeah correct true partially true sometimes when it becomes too much you can be away from the environment but more importantly it is all in the environment within you need to deal with that Got it. Got it. At least that's what I have practiced all my life. I never wanted to change anybody, and you know, I never wanted to blame anybody, complain against anybody. I feel that I have the power over my peace of mind, my joy, my happiness. I dictate how my environment should. Be. But sometimes. like see you have reached that level where you are able to dictate your environment but sometimes even if you want to change the environment it still exists you know how do we at that time ignore the environment and be ourselves be at peace because i really sometimes have that fear and i'm totally uh, influenced by my environment so this is where what i say comes into play that is you cannot change now this traffic you can't do anything you can get worked up about it i have to reach faster and that fellow is not driving properly but it is not making an iota of difference to anything outside but if you decide that i want to be peaceful no matter what because we are moving start being grateful to whatever is happening now then you are in a different environment and you look at things differently maybe you know that father taking the daughter on a bike is such a nice scene you know they are so much in love and look at these autos they are striving hard and look at this man who is limping is trying to cross the road instead of always me me and i am in a hurry i want to reach get it so when you were uh, giving conducting press conferences with ministers and all of that how did you deal with the overwhelm that you were going through see i don't deal with overwhelm at all because that cannot be controlled many people have this misconceived notion i can control my fear i can control my jealousy can you please speak little loudly uh, i can control all my negative acquisitions which is not true i had a guru called yuri krishnamurti he used to tell me if fear is gone you will drop dead i never understood that at that time but i became clearer and clearer as time went by so whenever i was overwhelmed whenever i was nervous i never dealt with it i detached from that how and allow it what is there now you see i want to detach just keep the phone there you are detached you have to defocus from what you are focusing upon stop giving attention and feeding that which you look at when you become aware then you become powerful not uh, that which uh, you are aware about and what you are aware about you cannot do anything about it got it yeah and uh, before we end this conversation on camera i want to know uh, how even though you were so busy how did you manage to give time to mama and to me and somya uh, in spite of being a busy man we never felt the lack of a father's love you always made time for mama uh, you know love for her plus for me and somya how did you manage to do that i mean is there any ta- time management that you were following 
I think for me it was a natural flow. When you ask that question, loudly. When you ask that question, we take uh, let the this thing go. The ambulance. God bless. Him. Yeah. Now tell me time management. Coming back to your question. See, every one of us has twenty-four hours only. So you can't manage time beyond a certain point. And this is a thought-out answer. At that time, I didn't think about it. But since you are asking me, what is important to manage is priorities. What is important? Mm -hmm. What is less important? My priority was, of course, my job because it is a bread-earning environment. Then. My emotional satisfaction, the love of the family, that was very important for me. It was a priority. So time worked around my priorities. So if you know your priorities, you will have time. Have you noticed? If you are really interested in something, you will give time to that. Oh, what a perspective means. Identify your priorities, and you will be able to manage your time. Yes, yeah. you got it. Amazing, amazing. Thank you. That was a great conversation. Bye, Papa. He said, he said, Daddy and daughter talk.